students let's continue with exercise 4.6 question number 10 find the greatest number of five digits which on dividing by 3 12 18 24 30 and 36 leaves remainders to 11 17 23 29 and 35 respectively now first of all what is the greatest five digit number it is 99999 now it is given in the question that on dividing that greatest five digit number by 3, 12, 18, 24, 30 and 36, there are some remainders. So the first thing is we will find LCM of these numbers. So on finding LCM by prime factorization result is 360. Now after that we know what we have to do. We will divide the greatest five digit number by LCM. So 99,999 divided by 360. Now this is the division here where the remainder is 279. Now here for finding that number we will subtract greatest five digit number and remainder. On subtraction, result is 99,720. But one more thing is given in the question that the greatest 5 digit number on dividing by 3, 12, 18, 24, 30 and 36 leaves remainders to 11, 17, 23, 29 and 35. So here we have to find out their difference. So when we find their differences like the first one 3 minus 2 it is 1, next 12 minus 11 that is also 1, 18 minus 17 is also 1, remaining ones also when we find the difference result is 1. So everywhere result is 1 only. So that greatest 5 digit number will be 99720 minus 1 which is 99,719. So this is that greatest five digit number, which on dividing by 3, 12, 18, 24, 30 and 36, leaves remainders to 11, 17, 23, 29 and 35. Now let's begin question number 12. Four bells ring at intervals of 8, 12, 18 and 20 minutes respectively. At what time will they ring together if they start ringing simultaneously at 9 a.m.? Now here the first thing is these bells they are ringing at different time intervals. So here we have to find the lowest common multiple of all these time intervals. Because at that time only they will ring together again. So here for finding that lowest common multiple, we have to find the LCM of 8, 12, 18 and 20. So LCM will be 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 5, it is 360. Now this 360, it is minutes, so we are converting it in hours. So 360 divided by 60, it will be 6 hours. Now here these bells they rang together at 9 am now we have to find that at what time they will ring together again so after six hours these bells will ring together again so time will be 3 pm so after 9 am the time is 3 pm when these bells will ring together again Coming to 14th question, a person wants to buy equal number of mangoes and apples. Mangoes are packed in packets of 10 and apples are packed in packets of 6. So what is the least number of apples he can buy? How many packets of each fruit should he buy? First thing, the mangoes are packed in packets of 10 and apples, they are packed in packets of 6. First thing is we have to find the least number of apples that person can buy. So for that least number of apples we have to calculate LCM of 10 and 6. So LCM of 10 and 6 will be 30. 
so these are the least number of apples or we can say mangoes which a person can buy now we have to find the packets of mangoes that how many packets of mangoes he can purchase so for that we will divide lcm by number of mangoes in one packet that means 30 divided by 10 three packets he can purchase similarly for packets of apples for that we will divide lcm by number of apples in one packet which is 30 divided by 6 so how many packets will be there five packets